It was a uh, little caramel cream. It had like a little cream in the middle and caramel outside. Gingerbread. Really fresh cheese curds. The ones that squeak against your teeth. And I loved them. I used to eat the middle out and then eat the caramel. Miso soup. Kishka. Egg rolls. China Inn egg rolls. There was a restaurant in my hometown called China Inn. It closed down about 10 years ago. They had the best egg rolls in the whole world. Nowhere, nowhere can I get an egg roll similar. It makes me sad. My name's Sarah, and I miss the China Inn egg roll. My mom always made borscht, you know, beet soup. Pierogies that my mother and my aunt used to make out of sauerkraut, chopped celery, and matzo meal that is stuffed into a cow's intestine. Loved it. It's weird. It's just not one of a beet soup. You know, you wouldn't think a kid would love it, but I loved it. My grandmother used to make these cookies shaped as turkeys, and they were thick. Spice cupcakes, and they had raisins in them. And they were my favorite. So we used to go to China Inn for lunch, a bunch of us, and I never ate the egg rolls because I don't like cabbage. So my friend Jeff called permanent dibs on my egg roll so that every time we went, he got to eat my egg roll. And then one day, Jeff is like, you know, they're really good. You should try one. And I tried it, and he never got another egg roll. We wanted to get people who love the egg roll as much as I do to go and post on the Facebook page. So at 1 o'clock this afternoon, we set up the China Inn Egg Roll page. Egg rolls are so good. These egg rolls are the best. Into this egg roll, it kind of had like this pork, it was a pork egg roll for sure, but it had like this pink kind of coloration in it. Perhaps they used a different variety of cabbage, maybe a redder variety. Because we always assume that the reason they were so good is because it had pink things in it. One egg roll was never I'm not ashamed to admit that uh, people that didn't eat them and had left them on their table, if uh, I saw them, and they were gone. <laughs> oh, liver and onions, there was another one that we loved as kids. I yearn for it. <laughs> the stuff they sell in the stores is not anything ne near what my mother made. And I can't seem to get it right like she did. So there's some secret that our mothers didn't pass on to us. <laughs> Oh, here comes our egg rolls. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Thank you. Keep on eating, baby, till you get out now. So hot, so hot. Peppery. No pink stuff. Pink stuff, but it's shrimp. It's tasty. But no China in. Not China in. Not China in. Then that's the question. What is the secret ingredient? What is the thing that made those so different? I've never been able to find, even remotely, a close egg roll in any other Chinese food restaurant I've ever been to. Ain't no trying to end. I miss it. When I go back, I make sure that I get my fill. You know, I think about it, I think, oh, that was, you know, I think it's more the memory of the childhood as opposed to the, I mean, the food was just part of it, so. That's exactly it. it the, it's the nostalgia that goes along with that perfect taste, that perfect flavor that you remember, that's just not quite there. The ingredients might come out the same eventually, but there'll be that certain something missing. I think they just must have put love. If there's a giant in anywhere in this country, I would find it. Please, come back to Brown. I need these egg rolls that you have no idea. So I had my mom post a question asking if any of her Facebook friends knew who the owners of China Inn were. My daughter and their daughter were friends. Her name is Young Va. So the question is, can I find her phone number? Because I would like to call her and have a very awkward conversation with her. <laughs> Disconnected. Well, that was fun. What else we got? <clears throat> I went to high school with her. Okay. 
Okay, okay, great. Thank you so much. She will be at work tomorrow, and I can con call her back at that number then. <laughs> More waiting. Yes, I actually went to high school with her. Uh, I don't know if she, she remembers me. Oh, uh, yeah, it's been hard for me to find a number to reach her. Okay, thanks, bye. Is she ever gonna call me back? Probably not, because it's weird. <laughs> well, it wasn't easy. We started a China Inn egg roll Facebook page, a fan page, and the only thing we really want to know is what was in the egg rolls. We figured the pink stuff in it is what made them so good. Could we ever get the recipe? Yeah, thank you. Okay, bye. Yes! Every time I cook, look like you can't get enough. Fix your pot of soup and make it dry. Hey guys, it's Sarah here. So I talked to the daughter of the original owner of China Inn, and this is the information she gave me. One, they were homemade every Saturday. Two, the pink stuff was actually rotisserie pork put through a meat grinder. And three, it had peanut butter in it, which some of you had guessed, and is totally bizarre, and yes, it had peanut butter. So anyway, she said her family's retired now, but she tried to get a recipe if she could, so if she gives it to me, I'll post it. Anyway, it's just so weird to me, this whole cyclical nature of life. I mean, here we are, we've all grown up, some of us have moved away, our lives are totally different now, and yet we're united by these memories and this nostalgia, and it just brings us back home again. So this has been fun. Thanks for everything. The job is well done. In bed. You will always have good luck in your personal affairs. In bed. You're never a loser until you quit trying. In bed.